I grew up playing the piano. My mom made me play the piano. It was awesome because it really set the tone for everything else. The piano lays it out nicely. After I played the piano for about five years, she let me quit. Finally, I picked up the drums, which I really liked, and I picked up the guitar. And that's my main instrument now. I play the guitar mostly. You have to practice a lot. You have to practice all the time. It's a lot of about muscle memory, so your muscles finally know that feeling. It's the same with guitar. If you want to get better, you just have to practice, and you just have to get your body used to playing the chords and playing the notes and the scales. I lead a praise band. Every other Sunday, I lead the practices. I like playing, I mean, on my own, but it's cool when you have your own part and the bass has their own part and everything seems to mesh together perfectly. Obviously, anything with a band, you have to be on time. Uh, you have to, you know, you just, you have to be ready for practices and everything. But there's more to it than that because you're leading worship and you have to set a Christian example in your lifestyle. And you have to, even outside of church, you have to make sure that your heart is in the right place so that you can worship God in, in everything that you do. Worship, if I could steal Louis Giglio's definition, is our response to who God is and what He has done. I try to take that everywhere. Worship isn't just the music we play. It's when we give our offerings. It's when we listen to our pastors preach. I think there are a couple things that hinder worship. There's too much people fearing and not enough God fearing. I think people are afraid of what other people think of them if they raise their hands or close their eyes. And I think that can be a real hindrance to what God wants to do in your heart. A worship leader needs to be genuine. They have to be truly in the moment praising God. And I think people will see that and they'll reflect that and they'll then be able to worship. I think God loves genuine heartfelt worship to see that you finally get it and it finally hit you. We always have to remember that we're shining God's light, not the other way around. For me, music is just the best way to express um, my love for God and my love for who He is and what He's done.